So thank you for tuning in again today. I'm Inspired Grizel and welcome to Avad, a verse a day. I'm really excited again today for us to look into the word of God and just go about the day conquering and winning in the name of Jesus. So let's just head right into prayers. Father, we appreciate you for today, and we know that your word will come to us today. Your word will light up our path even as we go out and come in this day in the name of Jesus. So today, I'll be sharing with us from the book of Psalms 89 verse 34, and it reads in the King James Version, it says, My covenant, God has a covenant, right? Will I not break nor alter the things that has gone out of my lips? My covenant I will not break or profane. That is the amplified, nor alter the things that have gone out, that has gone out of my lips. God has a covenant with us. God has an agreement with us. And if you are in Christ, if you are, if you've accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you've entered into the covenant of long life, a covenant of, of prosperity, a covenant of breakthroughs, a covenant of, of blessing. He says his covenant he will not break and a covenant is an agreement between two people it has terms it has conditions so God's covenant with you I don't know what you and God have covenanted but God is reminding you this morning that his covenant with you he is not going to break it he will not alter the things that has gone out of his mouth he is not your mate what he says is what he, he does God doesn't speak to impress you or you and I he is God all by himself. He's not a man that he will lie. So what he said he will do is what he will do. He says he will not alter the things that has gone out of his mouth. For example, the Bible says that he that give it to the poor is lending all to God. That is a covenant, the covenant of seed time and harvest. If you're always sowing, for sure there will be, there will, you will always be reaping because he is a covenant keeping God. He says, my covenant will I not break. I will not alter the things that have gone out of my mouth. If I tell you by my stripes you are healed, it's me. I said it. And so that is how it is. You believe it, you hold on to it, and you will see it manifest. God is asking you this morning. Re remember the covenant I have with you. I will not break. I'm committed. I'm not a man. Men make promises, men make covenant and they break it. You see people, there's lots of divorce today because the covenant of marriage is being broken. But it's not like that with God. His covenant to you, he will not break. What he has told you, he will not alter the things that has gone out of his mouth because he is not a man. God doesn't lie. And he will not start a career of lying with you, no. So I just came on this morning. To remind you to ask you what covenant do you have with God if you have a covenant with God then why are you worried for me who believes in in Titan and I'm a tighter once I've paid my tithe I believe according to the covenant of sowing and reaping that his door his heaven is open over me when I'm tempted to worry I go back to the covenant he's a covenant he says if you serve me I will bless your bread and your water. I will take sickness away from you. That's a covenant you have with God. So as you're serving God and things begin to look as if they are going anti-covenant or anti-covenant as some people will say, you go back to his word. He's not a man. He doesn't lie. He cannot lie. All right? So as you go about, begin to meditate on this word and, and ask yourself, what covenant do I have with God? Do I need to enter into a covenant if I do not have one? And for sure, if you get into a covenant with God, you're so secure because he's not a man. He cannot lie. He will not alter what goes out of his mouth. He says what he says he will do. That is what he will do. That is why you are called Jehovah. So uh, that's, what, that's all I'm sharing with us today. And go ahead, like, share, and subscribe to this channel if this series has been a blessing to you. God